for the higher being. Now, Sien and Gak have been practicing this matchup a lot leading up to the match. So let's see what type of tricks they've come up with. We just saw this matchup uh, in yesterday and today. Yesterday and today, yeah. every day with Topanga yeah. on. It seems like this is the hot marquee matchup. But Gak's a very different player from uh, Fudo's Feilong. Oh, only yeah. one hit there. Poor mistake here. Oh. Early command grab there. Yeah, he's a very aggressive player, using the tension a lot. Uh, and he's not afraid to keep on doing more of the same thing. Yeah. He will do five tension command grabs in one round. I mean, by that time, he's already dead, but... Rinse and repeat. But I have a lot of confidence in that. <laughs> Yesterday, he performed really well. Yeah. And I really didn't expect, you know, I mean, he won, okay, but but it's a very wide margin. Yes, it was. 7-3, um, seven, 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 I believe? 7-2. Seven, 7-2, seven, two. Seven, two, yeah. Seven, so, two. And every game matters here in the Capcom Cup uh, yeah. Asian qualifiers. Yes. As there is a game differential. So it's not only about winning the set, but also winning by a large margin. Yes. Mm. So in the previous match, uh, Watako versus Fudo, we saw a very good use of the focus attack and the low sweep, and uh, good set plays after a knockdown. But Momochi, a much more patient player. But from yesterday, uh, Momochi versus Fudo, I really didn't expect Tako to pick Ken today because uh, it apparently didn't go very well today. Right. Uh, I mean yesterday. Oh, this oh. is going to hit. I stand corrected. Oh, that's a good round. Yeah, the uh, ultra combo starts a little too late, and by then the invincibility on the chicken wing allows him to fly over to safety. Yep. So 1-0 there. Had he gone for the uh, uppercut option select, it would have hit. Nice stutter step there. That's the multi special. Sort of staggering his light attacks until he breaks your guard and then goes for a full combo. He's uh, gonna be fully yeah, punished. Yeah, trying to be risky then. Mm. Yeah, that third record didn't pay off. Has its rewards. Hadouken there. Oh, this! Oh. Wow, that standing heavy kick yeah. erased all that life away. Really good damage there. So you've played against uh, both of these players since Momochi has been to Singapore several times, and of course Gak is always around. Well, what is your impression of both? I have never played with Momochi. Oh, Ken. really? Um, I oh, mean, it's Ken. Ken. I yeah. see. I see. He didn't use it uh, the last time he came here. Yeah, it seems like he always has a different character every time yeah. he comes to Singapore. He's so good at all of them. But what, ab what about your experience uh, playing against Gak? <laughs> oh, Gak <laughs> Gak is so good. Um, somehow I seem to play him better in the arcade rather than on console. Oh, I but see. But he, obviously he wins all, most of the time. And mm. He's a very... His reaction is very fast. Right, he's really famous yeah, for his reaction. It's just that he's, he tends to take a lot of risks. Oh, I think he could have gotten an Ultra Momochi there. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, he had crumpled him and then backdash. Oh, I, I didn't. Oh, max range there. Yes. Nice. is really a uh, merciless player. When he sees that you are frustrated and uh, suffering from his relentless Fei Long pressure, he'll, he'll sink his teeth deeper, yeah, even yeah, more. Yeah. So any signs of weakness um, from his opponent is going to get capitalized on. I think that was a guaranteed damage blocked Hadouken at that range. I should have uh, cancelled into something there. I think he wanted EX Rekka. 
Wow, he just does it without yeah. even canceling. Ooh. Nice jump away from Gak there. Oh, nice. And he takes a commanding 2 0 Gak lead. Was so on form today and yesterday. Yes. I think it's something in that water, the magical Evian. It's because home ground. Home ground. <laughs> home ground and those vitamins. And of course, he and has the crowd support. His yes. girlfriend is flipping the skull card for him. All the support he needs. Fei Long is so good at catching him. You know, but I noticed a problem with hmm. Gek. Uh, it's not really a problem, but maybe his his uh, he just gets very nervous when he's in the lead. Uh, for example, mm. against Taco, he was four zero right the other day, and mm -hmm. he went back to four four. And he just I don't know for that last couple of rounds he will he may not have as much uh, confidence to get in the last couple of rounds. So he needs to maintain his cool. Mm. Nice. Traded with something there. So I guess yeah, he really needs to learn how to close out the set. This is a race to seven, of course. Yes. Taco almost suffered this, the same problem That's just true. now yeah. with Fudo. It was so scary. He was up ah, 6-2 and then it went to 7. Yes. Wow, nice option select there. 5. Wow, seven, five. a very ambitious level 3 focus there. Yeah, he's doing it again. <laughs> just releasing all the focus. Mm. He's desperate now. Nice. That links 4 hits. Mm. Oh, that was inevitable. So Gak has really been abusing the strength of Fei Long's focus attack. And mm -hmm. let's see how Mochi adjusts to that. Yeah. But he's been playing uh, out of the corner. So you see uh, Gak holding the focus and backdashing. Perhaps he's trying to bait out a yeah. low-medium kick Hatsu to that one right there. If you backdash in time, you can uh, absorb the low-medium kick and then dodge the Hatsu that's chasing after you and then punish yeah. on the way down. Oh, oh, that's gonna get punished. Mochi conserving. Wow, the EX. That should be it as the last hit of the Tatsu connects. And here you go. You Gek only has been releasing his focus <laughs> every every round at least twice. And that's oh, it's causing no. him a lot of blood. No, no, no. We have a mistaken score yeah, yeah, yeah. here. There was a hopeful 3-0. Yvonne. Yvonne's they don't want to give the true score. That is how biased the home crowd is. Yes. But of course, we have the accurate score here. It is definitely 2-1 Gakt in the lead over Momochi. I'm sure that Momochi has a lot of uh, experience with Fei Long in Japan and yeah. wherever. But it's just that he's probably not so familiar with Gakt's gameplay. Uh, Gakt is, I mean... Internationally, Gek hasn't really won any uh, tournament or done mm -hmm. super well, so it's less, less likely that he would look up on Gek. So I think this is why Gek has an advantage right now. Same as yesterday with Infiltration. Ooh. Nice. But I did ask the players, uh, Fudo and of course Infiltration knows for sure as he lost to Gek yesterday. Uh, yeah. But Mochi, they know about Gek. They know of how strong he is, they hear. Yeah. Some, it, according to some people, he's the strongest player in Singapore. Really? Uh, despite, I mean, just the fact that, you know, in tournament records here in Singapore, if you look at it, it's really between him, Leslie, and Sien. Sien, yeah. So when you, you hear about him, but you don't see him often as he doesn't travel, of course, as much Correct. as Sien, who's been going on a worldwide tour. Oh, wow. Huge gamble there. Yeah. And he's with no meter. Nope, that that's it. Could take it. That Tatsu. So Momochi was lamenting the fact that yesterday his uh, gameplay was not up to his own standard. Even though he lost the two matches, not only did he lose, but the it, the manner in which he lost was not in a spectacular fashion. He wasn't able to display his skills. Yeah. So he really wants to make good for himself here. Yeah, and also I believe that if he loses to Gek, that's it, right? Yes. He's out he of cannot this. afford to lose. Yeah, any even more so that. So he's really playing with his back against the uh, wall. Let's see if uh, some players shrink from that pressure. Oh my gosh. Other Gak players seize the moment, but Gak... Gak did a daigo there. 
just yeah. uppercut relentlessly. That is another Get one of bar. his favorite players. Oh, that should be it. Oh. Yeah, EX, all that life There's melted three, away. Three empty uppercuts in there. You see Gax talking to someone inside, that's actually Sien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really not Imaginary French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see dead people. I see dead Baylongs. Even that now, 2-2. Two, two. Gax has to stop being nervous. He wants a chance at it. Definitely, it will be very interesting to see Gax make his return. He's been to an evil yeah. before. Uh, but if he makes it to the San Francisco Finals, that will be his valiant return to the States. There as he baits out Momochi's uppercut. Oh, nice Kara uppercut, uh, Kara throw. What side is that? That like I don't know, it's very ambiguous. The, the punch just goes into the body here. Daco did a lot of that just now, right. and Fudo kept falling for it. So that's a very good jump in. And Ken is yet to get buffed in Ultra. That's okay. How is the situation here in Singapore? Is everyone sort of waiting for Ultra to come out? Or are they still grinding away at A 2012? Yeah, they, they. I mean, like, even though we may be waiting for Ultra, but uh, of course we cannot stop playing right now. Right. <laughs> it's such an addictive game. Very competitive. And it's, we're actually very lucky that uh, it has stayed alive in Singapore a lot. Even th yeah. I mean, the arcade scene has probably died down a little bit. Mm. But uh, now that Tough Cookie is um, not going to be around much longer, I'm sure that the arcade will live up a bit. But we're definitely still very into this game. <laughs> you know, Ultra is It is out. like a drug. Yes. Keep on calling back for more Street Fighter no matter what the situation is. Yep. And now the scoreboard is flipped. Gak does take a slight lead going into the sixth game here. Ooh, almost close to a full combo there. Oh, it was the first use of the yep. overhead. Just okay. now I saw it uh, in the previous game with uh, Fudo and uh, Dahako. If Ken blocks the overhead, it's punishable? Yes, it is minus four. So I think Ken has a three frame jab. Uh, of course, he could just raw uppercut really it. But the max that. damage is jab to medium kick into Tatsu, probably. Uh, let's see what option selects here he has. Doesn't use any. Second throw, mix up. Oh! This is probably going to be close to it. What is it going to be? And again, that's the second time that Momotri has sort of empty jumped uh, into Gak's throw. He's probably baiting out the yeah, uppercut he, as Gak had two oh. bars to burn. Because it's almost definite that when Fei Long has that two bars, he's going <laughs> to... You Why see, not, he's, yeah. he just did it. Definitely going to do it. Ooh, nice two hit. Oh no, that didn't even combo. Mm. Gak in a really good position now. He's got his opponent in the corner and with no beater to get out. Again, going for the second four record combo. Good. Pretty much not. Can't really see Mochi coming back from the situation as Gak takes it with a low light short. And now he has a two point lead over Momochi as Sien is feeding him even more information. Perhaps the evil world champion has picked up on some tendency of Momochi and is feeding that technology to Gak. Yes. I'm sure he has been studying that in order to advise Gak. Mm. So really you're fighting the two headed snake here. Not only a man with So what do you think of this matchup? Not as in Ken and Fei Long, Momochi and Gak. Well, I know that Gak is probably... How should I say? I think this new team between Gak and Sien is proving to be a very unstoppable force. As Gak has been <laughs> playing spectacular Street Fighter over the last week. And I can't help but think, because Sien barely goes into anyone's corner, because he, he himself likes to be left alone. Uh, but that is a habit that is slowly changing as he's getting advice, you know, on WhatsApp from the American players. You know, he stayed with Justin, so he's sort of warming up to the idea of coaching. Yeah. And also, for the first time, he's found someone that's worthy enough to give advice to, and that's Gak. 
Sien really loves teaching. It's just that maybe some sometimes people don't listen or yeah. or they just are unable to absorb that kind of advice that he's right. willing to give. And Gek is someone who's really absorbing it mm. as like much as possible, like a sponge. Yeah. Spon and he's wearing the sponge sponge is good hands. at this point. <laughs> wow. Brazen Rekka here. And also Gak, someone that's very difficult to beat. Wow, oh, lovely air to air. I love the animation on that flying Just kick. It's so dragon-like. Oh, no. That should hit on the counter hit. This could kill. Uh, that's over. Wow, the only thing that could have killed him was that sequence. Yes, uh, EX, correct. Tatsu, counter hit, linked into ultra. But you can only show Gak one trick. Uh, before he downloads it himself. I don't expect that he's going to get hit from that again. But that's very difficult to read also. I, didn't yeah. I mean, like, I would expect it to... Like, the speed at which the EX uh, yeah, Hurricane so Kick scary. comes down <laughs> is really like, you know, falling avalanche. Uh, again, the tension here has been working out. Oh, look at all the options oh. select. It's like he's typing in some Morse code. <laughs> and Momochi definitely needs an SOS here. Nice. How awesome would it be if uh, Choco Blanca was flipping the scorecard for Momochi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be, of course, the most appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. I have two. Five two oh, desperation yeah. move. Wow, Tatsu oh. beats out Chicken yeah. Wing. Apparently, we learn something new every yeah, day here. But of course, not much damage there. But at least he throws him off. So in the early rounds, Ken, uh, if he doesn't have one bar to use the EX Tatsu, it's very difficult for him to break the focus of Phalon. Oh, nice string there. Medium, medium, medium. What is that? The tension is just so good when Gak uses it. And you can be sure that Fudo taking some notes as he's watching with uh, alertness. Nice. That is the same tactic that Dako employed. Folks absorbing the low heavy punch from Phalong. And nice auto correct there from Gak. Gambled it a lot. As you can see, he didn't even have the meter to burn it. So it was really that or nothing. Oh, look at that Run range. Away. This is a yeah, marathon. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the Kara EX. Yeah, it gives him like three fourths screen. The, the mileage on that Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need to take MRT anymore. I know. Uh oh, here he's in the corner. Even though this is a do or die situation for Mochi, it's still he. How can I say? He ran into the worst opponent to do so because Gag is just on a tear right now. Yeah. You definitely don't want to face an elimination match against Gag because there is no mercy. Despite uh, Mochi being one of his favorite players, and look at this—he's really digging his teeth in here. That uppercut was just to get off me. Ooh. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, jumping short there as Gak abusing. Now, there's that reversal there. Oh. And a max punish max there. Punish. Ooh. That's the ambiguous thing. And he used the EX to get out of there. Some golf claps there from Fudo. But you can see the sort of difference in strategy as he's not really uh, in Momochi's corner despite them sharing the Razor sponsorship. Or his team desperation move is really the two-headed snake fighting against Momochi. Oh, he would have hit that Kara throw 
Wow, I think Gak could do that. What is the favor? I mean, like, um, Ken and Phelan. You know, a lot of people thought Ken was not that strong of a character, but uh, recently, as we saw in the previous match, Ken yeah. can definitely kill Phelan. And I think it's the major reason is because he's one of the few characters that can punish uh, Rekulon's lock. Is this going to hit? Yeah, just when he... Uh, a little bit. Wow, I've never seen it a hit that high. Hit. And of course, Momochi had no set play after that, as he's probably never hit anyone that high up before. So this is the elimination match here for Momochi. If he loses this round, he uh, still has some matches to play, but he has no chance of qualifying. Gak smelling blood gets the first attack here. Makes Momochi burn all that meter. And now he's in the corner. This is very bad here. That desperation throw. Oh, um, and again, the tension. How does one deal with that? Effectively, it's a three-frame throw. Because it's a linked into a three-frame jab. So if you can't react to the jab in time. Oh, that should be it there for Momochi. 7-2. Uh, yeah, Gak just humming along here like a runaway MRT was, in the subway was, system. This seemed like quite a convincing. Yeah, he won it very convincingly. The scorecard just kept on flipping and flipping and flipping. Final score is seven two. And next seven two. up, yesterday seven two also Gak. Yeah, so not only does he have an unbeaten record, but he probably has the best game differential. Yeah, and now he will be more better. As we see Recognized. the uh, scoreboard here, uh, Gak in a commanding lead with plus 10. 